Hey, how y'all doing? Mm, excuse me, still sounding like a man. But, but like I said, I like to get on here early um, to catch you guys up on some business and get the house stuff out the way. Um, once again, um, some of you have been, hey Nadine, how you doing? Some of you guys have been asking about the book. Hey Ty, how you doing? Um, I'm gonna ask Otis Lipscomb, the author, to put that information uh, where you can get the book. Uh, I, I know Barnes and Nobles, Amazon, Wiz Buds, something. You see, that's why I always jack it up. So I'm gonna ask Otis, hey Santiago and Victoria and Jesse, how y'all guys doing? Oh my gosh, I came a little bit early because of, of course I always gotta hit the road. Hey Joel, how you doing? Um, hey Vic, how you doing sweetheart? Um, Vic, I want you to really chime in on this one, child. <laughs> yeah, we're about to get a little raw today and I want you to guys to be as honest as possible. You know, because a lot of times people think they know the meaning to something or whatever, when we really, really, really don't, okay? So I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to the Less D experience, child. And we're about to, hey, Otis, why have you on here? Um, can you put down in the comments where they can get uh, the book? Otis Lipscomb um, is, Lipscomb, I'm sorry, is the author, and I am the illustrator of the book. And so he's going to put, hopefully, in the comments, um, all the information on how to get the books offline. All righty? So we got that out the way. And also, guys, we're going to... Oh, okay. Well, I don't want you to crash the car, Vic, so just try to listen as best you can. And I don't know, maybe you have a microphone to speak it in. Hey, Santiago, miss you too. Oh my gosh. Um, Santiago is an author as well. Uh, Santiago, can you put your book information down in the comments? Uh, the name of your books? I don't know if you have three, four, five now. Uh, I haven't been catching... Um, keeping up with it, but put where they can get your book information in the comments, okay? Um, and hopefully I can get all these authors and all these spoken word people, whatever else, cut to come here to Virginia so we can give you guys a night of songs and love and blah, 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 you know, things like that. So I'm excited for them. But the big question today is, and I know it seems simple because we all think we know, what is the real meaning of sexy? Now, I'm going to read what Google says it means, but we're going to dive into it and peel away the layers, yes we are, of the word, the meaning, everything. Okay, so while I'm doing all this and reading what Google has to say, uh, Santiago and Otis, put your book information in the comments so people can buy it and maybe ask you questions about it. Because they're both of their books ties in to what the topic is today. Um, Santiago is talking about relationships and all of that stuff. And um, Otis is talking about life and love from a male point of view. Yeah, ladies, we want to know what's going on in there with them. Okay, but here is, okay, <laughs> here is the definition of sexy that Google gives, okay? Um, sexy, just sexually attractive or exciting, okay? Seductive, desirable, alluring. <laughs> Toothsome, I'm like, toothsome, yeah, really. Uh, sensual, sultry, slinky, provocative, and tempting. All righty, and they always have lustful, passionate, and they got different things, like the mountains were sexy, like ex exciting or stimulating or interesting, appealing, intriguing, slick, or red hot. Now, these are all the things that Google say it is. And why I thought this was so important to bring up and I want to thank all of you who's sending in topic ideas and you want me to talk about this and talk about that. You got something on your mind. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. But I can't do everybody at one time. Okay. Uh, hey, Byrne. Okay. I know Byrne has out. Uh, Byrne, he is an international um, songwriter, singer. He's an actor as well. You've seen him on a couple of shock movies and all that. Byrne, put your information down in the comments as well. Um, about your, your current project and where they can buy it from so they can support you. All right. So what I'm trying to do in essence, guys, I'm trying to give to people that 
uh, the things that has never been afforded to me. So if you guys have books out, uh, new music out, uh, art, anything like that, that you want me to promote and put here or talk about on the LSD experience, please let me know and you can plug it right there in the comments. I don't mind. If you have a new movie coming out, I don't know if you're, you have a new movie coming out, Burn, or not. Okay? So check him out. Very, very, very talented actor. Um, singer, songwriter, and dancer. Yeah, he gets a little groove on. <laughs> so, and also I want to thank uh, Rona Bennett from In Vogue for checking out the show on last week. Uh, she is awesome to work with. We did a play together. Mm, I forgot when some years ago. And I thank her for her support. Um, go check her out. It's called uh, In the Mornings with Ro. Ro in the morning. Lord, she's going to kill me. But anyway, check out Rona Bennett on her uh, Facebook Live as well. So it's a lot of people um, that are doing things. Um, and I want to be able to support any way I can, even as just bumping my big gums. <laughs> so whatever you guys need to put out there, let me know and you can shoot it in my comments or you can let me know in advance and I can send it out to people because I'm all about help. We need to help each other achieve and succeed. So back to our topic here on the Less D experience is what does sexy really mean? Now you guys feel free to chime in at any time. You know, and I thought about this thing because I'm just going to be transparent. Oh God. And I know it's going to be my, my producer. Well, why can't I? They're saying, no, but I'm going to be a little bit transparent because if I want you guys to be transparent, <laughs> I should maybe will be willing to do so as well. <sighs> Here goes. I do not consider myself sexy. You know, like the term that we're used to thinking sexy is, you know, when um, usually when people think sexy, they think, you know, tight body a certain height or a certain weight or a certain something or whatever else. But sexy can, can come in a lot of shapes, forms, and fashions. For instance, the way someone talks, we like to call it, uh, I know in the black community, we like to call it swag, swagger. Somebody could be like not very attractive in the face or the body, but when they open their mouth, that swag just be like, oh my God, it'll make you forget everything else. You know, so I've talked to a lot of ladies about this and I've talked to some men. Um, but men and women have different perspectives and different ideas of what sexy is. You know, <laughs> did he say me? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm ser I really don't think so. Because I'm like, um, I love to laugh right? I love to laugh and I love joy and I love like, you know, like monsters and, and, and trucks and all of that stuff, you know, things that they're tomboyish, you know what I'm saying? So I don't say, hey, Susie and Jarnay. So I, you know, I don't know. That's why I don't think of myself as sexy. You know, I make fun of, I don't even know how to act sexy. Like, <laughs> see, I couldn't even do it. I couldn't do it without laughing. I just don't see myself that way and i know a lot of women don't either so i want you um <laughs> you know i'm laughing at santiago because y'all look what he's doing over there. he cutting up he cutting up over there he said he's sexy and that's what i'm about to say too um hey hasani you need to be sexy in your own mind be fine in your own mind because if you just like happiness you cannot depend on anybody else or anything else to make you happy. You know what I'm saying? You have to find happiness within your own self. And once you find, you know, happiness for yourself, then you can invite somebody else in your world, in your happy world, your, your loving yourself world. You know, how can a broke up person love somebody else? You just, you know, you see what I'm saying? So I think sexy is, is really a frame of mind. You see what I'm saying? I'm not sure. That's just my opinion. Cause I don't, I don't see myself as physically sexy or, I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to laugh y'all. Cause I'm a goofball. I just, it makes me uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Well, okay. Let's see what Otis is saying. Oh Lord. Hey, Miss Joanne, how you doing? 
<laughs> Santiago say he's sexy in everybody's mind. He is acting up today. You say he act? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what Otis is saying. And John A is laughing at Santiago. He is just acting up. I, this is going to be an interesting half hour. Otis is saying sexy to me is a state of mind. It's an attitude much more than just a physical thing. I agree with that. But let me ask you guys this. I mean, a lot of people would choose, let's see. I don't want to be calling names. But I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Lord, let's see. Um, I don't know. A lot of people will choose. All right, if you had Beyonce and Seely side by side, all y'all talking this frame of mind stuff and attitude and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure y'all would pick Beyonce over Seely from The Color Purple. I mean, I mean, let's, we, we're going to be real today. We're going to try to pull away the layers and see what sexy is. And hopefully, because I always say we all need therapy, child. So maybe something that's said today can help somebody, probably me, look at themselves in a different way, you know, in a different manner. You know, I think people have sexy smiles, you know, um, I'm a, I'm a walk person too. I, if somebody got a nice walk, Denzel, I don't know how old he is, but he can walk. I mean, it, if it's in your walk, man, it's like, you go ahead and walk that walk. <laughs> I'm back. But I'm just saying, it could be in someone's smile, someone's walk, you know, someone's intellect. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Santiago say Oprah is sexy. Michelle Obama, yes. Uh, hey, Pops, how you doing? <laughs> um, this is my Pops, David Modlin. Uh, Pops, we're talking about, which is kind of feel weird now that you're on here, but we're talking about what's the real meaning of sexy? What is sexy? Santiago said, Angela Bassett. See, but everybody he's naming is the physical personification of sexy. You know, no one has said anyone's mind is sexy yet. Okay, Otis is saying he tends to find sexy and what people, usually people don't find sexy. Can you explain, Otis? You know, this should be interesting. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I think, especially, I mean, let me, let me just tackle something I know. And I, I'm hoping that Vic is still on here. I know she said she was driving. But, um, like, Vic, very, very beautiful plus size. She's a plus size model. Okay, a lot of my hips dancers, beautiful women beautiful women you know what i'm saying but to society they're not they would they wouldn't be chosen as sexy to the average male you see what i'm saying and these divas got it going on i mean from the rooter to the tutor from the head to the toes they have it going on but in some cases they're not considered sexy but yet i especially Vic, her frame of mind you know and I've heard people talk, because um, Candy, one of the other dancers, she has a way that she flips her hair when she talks, and she don't even realize she do it, you know? <laughs> um, but, I mean, it's just, I think it's all about perspective, y'all. I, I don't know. Um, okay, thank you. Santiago saying a cerebral woman is sexy. You know, because I was going to get to that, you know, the way she thinks, her intellect, you know, her mind. You see what I'm saying? Oh, y'all get this, okay? <laughs> swag is everything, not just looks. Okay, Santiago saying swag is everything, not just looks. Can you explain? Hey, Paris, how you doing? Okay, I'm going to go go back up. You guys are going so... Oh, Jack Basis said Viola Davis is thick, dark, and sexy. Yes, and that's another thing I was going to hit, complexion. Complexion. A lot of people don't deem dark-skinned women, you know, like myself or darker, sexy or alluring. They just don't. Um, but uh, Jack does. Thank you, Jack, for looking out for the chocolate sisters. <laughs> See, yeah, I'm too goofy to be sexy, child. You know? <laughs> okay. Oh, it is. Oh, oh, it's Joanne. Okay. Um, Joanne King, she's over there too. Uh, says, that's right. Nobody wants to be in a friendship with sadness. Sexy is beauty on the inside and bring that sexy on the outside. Your attitude can bring that sexy out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, mama. Go ahead. 
Yes. And I do believe that, you know, so it's really a personal thing because I don't care if you're in a room with 15 men and don't nobody think you're sexy. You should still leave feeling like you are sexy. You find your own mind, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. And I really think that people need to be the best them they can be. Whatever it takes to dress you up or make you feel beautiful, do it. You see what I'm saying? And not necessarily for no man or if you're a dude, for some woman, but what makes you feel like you are the best you can be? What can you do to yourself to make you feel sexy? Huh? You know, what can you put on or take off that makes you feel sexy? I think sexy, just like happiness and joy and peace, should be a personal responsibility within you. You see what I'm saying? You know, now I, 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 I still am laughing on trying to hold it together because I, I, I feel uncomfortable, you know, with the word, you know, and I think that really, if I were to be totally transparent with you guys, oh God, I think that comes from years and years and decades and decades of being called black or ugly or fat or whatever and just awful things. And if you're not careful, that stuff can attach itself to you subconsciously, you know, and I know I struggle with that and I still struggle, you know, with those things. You see what I'm saying? But I can only be the best me that I can be. You know, I I, I would never be a size three. I've been a size three since birth. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me go back over here and see what they're saying, all right? <laughs> uh, Paris, we're talking about what the real meaning of sexy is, what constitutes someone as being sexy, okay? That's what we're, she's getting in late, y'all. And David saying, I most certainly agree. Those celebrities are only beautiful on the outside until you get to know them. Then you can judge. A Christian woman is sexy if she fully understands her power and worth. Mmm, yes. Go ahead, Pops. What you talking about? What you know about that, huh? <laughs> and Jack is saying, yes, I want a big, smart, deep-thinking Black woman. <laughs> you men are cutting up on today. Are you serious? Really, Jack? Look over his faults and his needs. <laughs> He's just cutting up. He was saying, Tiago, it's cutting up today. What Otis saying now? He said, I always believe that sexiness is an inside job, all caps. <laughs> Meaning that if you feel sexy on the inside, where it counts, then you can't help but show that sexiness on the outside. I hear you. So I think our goal today, beloveds, is to get someone who's Roxanne Gay is very sexy. Who is she? Is she an actress, Jack? Jack is saying Roxanne Gay is very sexy. I don't know who she is. She's a politician, actress. I don't know who she is. Let us know who she is. But um, we want to, at least today, have someone leaving feeling more sexy than they first thought they were before they tuned into this show, or to at least try to embrace their sexiness and try to hear from you guys what you guys think is sexy. You know, um, I, I don't know. I love someone with a great sense of humor that can laugh um, and don't take themselves so seriously. You see, I don't take myself seriously. It's like, it is what it is, it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she said, Roxanne Gay is a writer. Okay. It'd be cool if you could get a pic of her, Jack, and put it in the comments. Or you can make the people Google it, you know. Paris is saying, hey, I'm hip. <laughs> okay, I agree with Otis. Sexy is something that comes from within. I've had to learn this the hard way through life. No matter how many people tell you you're sexy, if you don't feel it, you won't exude it. Why are you talking about me, Paris? Get, get, out, get out my life. Get out my life. Get out my brains. <laughs> and David is all, Otis, I think you on it, Otis. You know, but um, what's interesting is, I think it's very, do you guys think it's possible? I say yes. Is it possible for someone to exude sexiness and to be alluring and, and all of that stuff and not know it or not realize it? Because I, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. You know, because I have a lot of people say things to me and I'm looking like, do they got a glass eye? What's wrong with them? <laughs> you know, because I don't, you know, see myself as that way. 
you know, and I, and I do know, and I was like, I've always said from the time, the first time I decided to do this show, that I would be transparent as possible with you guys. And that means putting up my dirty laundry and my secrets and my flaws and my ticks. <laughs> but I, I do know, I'm intelligent enough to know that most of the reason I think, well, half of the reason, no, most of the reason, I don't think I am because of the, the information that has been fed to me since childhood. Because y'all know back in the 60s and 70s, you know, light was right. Everybody wanted a red bone and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And so I, I heard a lot of crazy stuff, you know. Um, don't get me wrong. I love being chocolate. I love my blackness. I know it's not just because it's become a fad these days or a style or power to the people. I've always, no, I'm not going to say that. That's a lie. Uh, at the end of high school, I started accepting my complexion because before then, uh, you know, it, it, it was just a sad case. But um, as I engaged the outer world, not the world I was being raised in or I grew up in, but as I experienced other people and other cultures and things like that. And then as I started studying, you know, Africa and, and our, what we've gone through as a people here is when I really started to go, wow, wait a minute. I think I'm okay. It's okay to be dark. It's okay to be chocolate. <clears throat> you know, cause a lot of people are less bleach your skin and all that stuff. Y'all, it's just the production lights. I'm just this chocolate, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm comfortable with it now. Now, if I can get as comfortable with my, as I have with my skin color, I'll be doing all right, you know? So let's see what's going on over here. Hey, Melvin, how you doing? And Otis says, oh yes, a person can be sexy and not know it. I think that's cool though, because humility, ah, everybody's coming up, uh, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I lost my mouth, so I'm doing this old-fashioned way, so bear with us, sister. Okay. He says, I think that's cool, though, because humility from, from that shows through, which is also sexy, by the way. He said humility is sexy. Okay. Never thought of that, as, you know. And what did Paris say? She shot up here and said something. She said, that's because you're limiting what qualifies as being sexy. Um, you talk about me, Paris? Hey, Mousy, how you doing? Well, you know, that's why I'm having this show, uh, because I think, along with myself, a lot of women fall into the trap of, of what society, celebrity, and what the world deems as not just beautiful, but sexy. You know, so I'm trying to want figure out from the men here, you know, what do they constitute as sexy? You know what I'm saying? You're not going to always see the light between people's thighs. Ain't nobody, everybody ain't got a thigh gap. <laughs> and some people think that's sexy, you know what I'm saying? Um, Paris is saying, expand your definition of the word. It's not just three bulletproofs. That's the, that's the beauty of it. With each person you meet, they have their own definitions of what sexy is and what qualifies as sexy to them. Yes, girl. Yes, I like that. I like that. And that's why I thought it was so important to have this discussion. You would be surprised how many women in their 30s, 40s, almost 50s, you know, that do not see themselves as that way. And they're always being forced to be measured up against another nationality or another size or another complexion or what this one is doing and that one is doing. I think sexiness is embracing what's uniquely you. You know what I'm saying? Because me, you know, I like Bigfoot and, and seeing them try to find Bigfoot and Dog Man and all kinds of monsters and Godzilla and trucks and stuff like that. I love that stuff. People don't know that about me. You see what I'm saying? You know, that may be sexy to somebody else. I, I don't know who, <laughs> but that might be sexy to somebody. You know, I love old sports cars and being upside down with my feet dangling, trying to fix up spark plug and things like that. I love that crazy stuff. You know, um, David is saying sexy is, oh, Pops, you got to say that because I'm your child. <laughs> Sexy is you. You also have the power to overcome those negative comments. Most people find something wrong with others to ignore their own failures. That is true. I never understood, Pops. You know, you've known me since I was, you know, 
I, I don't understand why people would get off just saying awful things to people. You know, and I'm just so thankful I, I'm a strong enough person not to let that stuff affect me to the point of depression or suicide or whatever else people go through. You know, so uh, it, and we need to be careful, too, on what we say to folks, because you never know what mental state anybody's in, uh, what they're going through, what they just came out of. So if you don't have anything nice to say about somebody, hey, yo, don't say anything at all, you know, but people can't seem to grasp that. Um, well, let me ask, ask you this, because Otis is going on a rant. He's writing paragraphs, <laughs> you know, but um, do you guys think women or men put a lot of emphasis on some somebody being sexy? Do you think women saying that this man got to be sexy or men say that my woman or the one I'm interested in have to be sexy, you know? My opinion is, and guys don't get mad, I think women are more accepting of flaws than you guys are. I could stand to be corrected. We can all, you know, agree to disagree. This is just my opinion and my personal experience, the things that um, I've seen or that was been done to me or whatever else. Um, I think women are more accepting of a man's body type or him losing his hair, or him losing a couple of teeth, or a limp, <laughs> or, or a, a, a pot belly, or whatever else. I think we as women are more accepting of physical flaws and would still find you guys sexy in some manner. I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't see especially good looking men, handsome men who got their pick of the litter. They can have anything from A to Z, you know, they can have anything. I don't see them being more accepting as um, uh, some back fat, a couple of rolls in the back fat or thighs that rub together or um, a little pooch from the navel down and things like that. What else? Uh, stretch marks. What else we get women? I mean, I just, that's just my opinion. I see a lot of stuff going on around here. So I'm, I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna get to it. Um, Otis says, of course he would. I don't agree. I think women look at a man's sexiness more. And he said, well, they don't prefer me too much anyway. Why are you saying that, Mr. Lipscomb? I don't know. And Paris is saying women more often than not have to settle for whatever their man becomes. <laughs> Paris, really? Um, but you know, but, but Paris, in all fairness, if you're married to a man, I guess he would have to accept whatever you become too. I guess. It, well, I don't know about that. I don't. <laughs> we all are cutting up on here today. I am just trying to get everybody in. Kind of score twenty two already. <clears throat> man, I'm trying to get. Okay, let's get somebody new in. Miss Joanne is saying, black or dark-skinned women, where is the beauty of sexy? They are the epitome of our race, our culture, and the rareness of the awareness of black is definitely beautiful. Anyway, Leslie, your beauty has always been what's inside of you, and from the time of have been, but from the time that I've been knowing you. Aw, that is so sweet. I mean, and it's, what's interesting is because of the world we live in, people don't um give one another a chance to know the other. You don't know if I have a quirky laugh that, that turns you on. If you automatically look at my big hips and my big thighs and go, mm, and won't even speak to a person like that. Or I, I just think we're just so wrapped up in materialistic outward things that we don't give people an opportunity, you know, to, reveal to you who they really are. You may like the way they talk. You might like the way they, you know, burnt their lip when they're nervous. You know what I'm saying? Little quirks like that. We need to give each other chances and accept the little flaws, you know, because sometimes what flaws are hiding is a jewel inside. But if you guys don't give anybody an opportunity to get to know them, I think you rob yourselves and you rob them. I think it's an injustice, actually. You know, um, Okay, we're going on. Okay, you guys are going so fast. Oh my God. 
Oh, Paris is just saying she's oh oh baby, by all means, be truthful. It's the truth. We gotta accept what we get sometimes. <laughs> uh Otis is saying women want tall men, and I'm very short. Well, women, somebody address Otis because um some women, you're saying all women, and all women do not like tall men. I think I would come to the navel of somebody that's, <laughs> that's six, six or six, nine or six, seven or whatever else. Cause I'm a shorty cakes, you know, whatever else. So women, please address Otis, his comment. He don't believe, he probably don't believe none. I just said, <laughs> and what is, what is he aiming in Jack to? I don't know. Jack and Otis is having their own little thing over there. Hey James, how you doing? <laughs> I might have to have a part two on this cause everybody's coming in. Okay. Yes. Okay. Jack is responding to Paris. Otis is responding to Jack. And I'm going to talk to Miss Joanne because she was, she, <laughs> hey, Robert McDonald, y'all are wilding on here. The beauty of you comes from the inside of you. You love life when you were young, funny, and lovable, and just love everybody. And you always have something positive to say to people. Oh, that is so awesome. And what I don't understand is um, you guys will be amazed at the, the kind of attacks I get in my private messages because uh, my pages of my Instagram and my Facebook page is public. And so I don't know half the folk that be sending me stuff. And people are so mean, you know, and people have been are so mean that I just bust out laughing now. I just, you know, I, I, it's just ridiculous, you know, and all I ever tried to do was spread positivity and love and uplift people, you know, and I just don't understand if you are a hater or someone that doesn't like an individual, why do you go to their page? And then why do you take the extra energy to type something, you know, and you never get answered back. I don't answer you crazy people, you know, <laughs> can I say that? I'm being, uh, I, crazy people, yeah. Because if I don't know anyone, especially if I don't know them, why would I go in their DMs and attack them? You know, and this and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. It's just crazy. If you don't like someone, stay away from someone. Don't talk about them. Why in God's green earth do you keep subjecting yourselves to their presence? Ridiculous. But um, <laughs> uh, Paris is saying, I say that because you'll have a man that when you first started dating was going to the gym every day, et cetera. Then a few years or so go by, you're married, no gym, beer gut, back hairs, et cetera. <laughs> oh my goodness, if there's less effort made that have, that have allowed him to be attractive physically and all that stuff has stopped. Hmm. That is so true, but you know, I need to say this before I go. Um, whatever you did to get your mate, whether you be a woman or a man, beast, I don't know, whatever you did to get that person that you was interested in, don't stop doing it. And if you have already stopped, pick it back up. You see what I'm saying? I mean, usually when you say, I don't, I do, they don't. They don't do nothing else. <laughs> Hey, Kevin, how you doing? And the same thing for the women. You know, I try to be fair on this show. You know, woman, what, how, whatever you were doing when he first, mm, hey, shorty, <laughs> try doing that again. Now, in the woman's defense, you guys want her to have all your babies and all of that, you know, knowing good and well her body's going to change. You're going to have to be a little bit more accepting of those things, guys. Come on. There's a whole person in her body probably two, three, and four, and five, and six times. So you just can't go, oh, you done let yourself go. No, I let the babies go that you put in me. Come on now. <laughs> so you guys have to be a little more understanding. Hey, BZO, how you doing, my brother? <laughs> so, you know, and I think, you know, I could be wrong. Otis said I was wrong, but other guys, do you guys say I'm wrong? Do, am I wrong by saying women are more accepting of men changing their physical appearance and everything else that happens to them than men are. You know, I've had people straight leave me because of the, you know, the medication I was on for tumors and all that stuff, you know, changed my body. You know, I've had people go, I don't want you anymore. I'm like, okay, 
I'm cool with that, you know? So I really think I could be wrong, guys. I really think that women are more forgiving of the flaws. You guys don't like, you know, big slapping thighs and big booties. Ours are real. You know, we can't afford to be buying no butts, you know? So our real butts and thighs and boobies and all that stuff is real. And some of you guys don't like that they get bigger or they change, but you want us to accept you and still think you sexy with all that stuff be going on with you guys as well, you know? So, oh my gosh, hey Luigi. Oh my, it's been like 10 years. What's going on, Luigi? <laughs> Oh my gosh, so many people I haven't heard from in so long. Hey, Soror, how you doing? It's popping up on here. But I promised you guys I would try to stay chaotic. Chaotic has joined us. Yes, child. And he's going to see me on here. Chaotic, I still, I, I can talk, but I can't sing like I need to sing. So Chaotic is a phenomenal producer in the DMV, y'all. And we were working on a project that's, ridiculous you know and i've been fighting a coal and hoarseness but i'm going to get to you chaotic i promise he's a beast if you guys need music if you guys need anything check out the rhythm shack in richmond virginia you know spade and chaotic beats is up there doing it hey kara how you doing and otis is saying oh come on big thighs and big hips are too sexy come with something else it's time for me to go and I'm getting somebody to call, call me on here. Hold on. Guys, don't call me on the phone. Hold on for a moment, I'm on live, okay? I'm late for a conference Sorry. call. Well, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's why I had to go. So you guys keep the conversation going um, over there in the comments, okay? And if you want me to do a part two, uh, <laughs> Uh, if you guys want me to do a part two of this, because I did not finish, and everybody's trying to get me to do an hour-long show, but people don't have time to be sitting for an hour watching me bump my gums, you know, so I'm trying to keep it at 30 minutes, but we always run out, and you guys be doing some good stuff on here. Okay, my conference call is on hold, so um, you guys keep the conversations going over there, and I'm going to go, and I would just like to say this, you know, find out what your sexy is. Huh? And work it out and work that thing. Chad, that's part of our therapy. We all need therapy. <laughs> Thank you for joining me with the Less D experience. <laughs>